Unlocking politeness. I'd rather not say. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a commonly used but often misunderstood phrase, I'd rather not say. This phrase is a key part of English communication, especially when navigating sensitive or personal topics. Let's break it down together, so you can use it confidently in your conversations. I'd rather not say, is a polite expression used when someone prefers not to reveal information or answer a question. It's a way of declining to provide an answer without being rude or abrupt. The phrase combines, I would rather, a way to express a preference. With, not say, to avoid speaking about something. It's often used in situations where the speaker feels that the information is private, sensitive, or perhaps not relevant to the discussion. This phrase can be used in various contexts. Personal questions. When someone asks about your age, income, or relationship status, and you prefer to keep that information private. Sensitive topics. In discussions about politics, religion, or personal beliefs, where you might not want to share your views. Professional settings. During job interviews or workplace conversations when asked about previous salaries, reasons for leaving a job, or other companies you're interviewing with. Using, I'd rather not say, helps maintain your privacy without offending the person asking the question. It's a gentle but firm way of setting boundaries. While, I'd rather not say, is widely understood and accepted. There are other ways to convey the same message more softly or formally. I prefer to keep that private. That's a bit personal, sorry. I'm not comfortable discussing that. Let's talk about something else. These alternatives offer flexibility in how you can express your reluctance to share certain information, depending on the context and your comfort level. I'd rather not say, and its alternatives are valuable tools in your English communication toolkit. They allow you to navigate conversations gracefully, respecting your privacy and the feelings of others. Remember, it's perfectly okay to not share everything about yourself. We hope this video helps you feel more confident in using these phrases in your English conversations. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more helpful content soon.